Wouldn't it be nice to know where you're headed when it comes to your beliefs, goals and values? Wouldn't it be nice to have a roadmap of where you're headed? A model that describes how your psyche evolves. And that model is called Spiral Dynamics. Spiral Dynamics describes how the psyche, groups and societies as a whole evolve. See, there are certain patterns that we as individuals, as groups and societies go through. Our values evolve following a certain pattern. And Spiral Dynamics proposes that there are eight different stages we go through and each have been assigned their own color. And they are as follows. Beige, purple, red, blue, orange, green, yellow, and turquoise. And these stages all have one thing in common. They all seek to answer the question, what is life about? What is the meaning of life? So without further ado, let's get started. At the lowest level on Spiral Dynamics, stage beige, the point of life is simply survival. Think of baby or an animal. They only think about survival and getting their basic physiological needs met. Food, water, sex and safety. It's very much only about me, me, me. What do I have to do to survive? With no regard or concept for others. And when you see that you can't survive that well on your own and that you need to recognize the existence of others, that's when you move on to the second stage on the spiral. Stage purple. Think tribes. The individual becomes like an organ of a larger organism. The tribe. Everything is about what's best for the tribe. Now it's about other, 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 with no focus on yourself. How can you serve your tribe? And belief in magic and spirits is also very common at this stage. Stage purple seeks truth in the environment, in spirits, and in the wise elders. And the point of life is to please the spirits and to help the tribe survive. Other examples of stage purple include gangs, kamikaze pilots, mythology, astrology, and superstition, and Ewoks from Star Wars. And when you feel like the tribe doesn't serve your own personal interests, that you need more autonomy, you move on to the next stage, stage red. Stage red is all about satisfying your own needs. Now it's again about me, me, me. The point of life is to dominate others and get all the resources for yourself. So unsurprisingly, this is the stage of tyrannical leaders, like dictators, corruption and exploitation. Examples of stage red include the use of brute force, displays of toughness, also trying to show others that you're better than them, machoism, or trying to be as manly as possible, prison culture, Vikings, the Russian government, criminals, Trump, respect and loyalty, and the idea of survival of the fittest. And if we take another Star Wars example, the Sith. So stage red seeks truth in its own interests. For red, what I think, is what's true. Damn what other people say. The next stage, stage blue, emerges when you realize that the randomness and injustice of stage red threatens life and security. You realize that setting boundaries and mutual agreements leads to less conflict and fewer problems. And stage blue is again about serving others. It's characterized by belief in something higher, either religion or a strong belief system, being Christian, being left or right wing, conservative or liberal, etc. And following its rules, doing what's quote unquote right. And stage blue tends to make strong contrasts between good and evil, right and wrong. And it seeks truth in the Bible, laws and social norms. And other examples of blue include organized religion, the Ten Commandments, nationalism and patriotism. Ben Shapiro is a perfect example of a person at stage blue. Hierarchical structures, such as the Indian caste system, law and order, also punishments and the idea of justice, and the idea of good manners and etiquette, they're all fine examples of stage blue. When you feel like stage blue doesn't give you enough freedom to create your own life and doesn't offer any immediate rewards, you move on to stage orange. And stage orange is characterized by the striving of materialistic success. The point of life is to acquire as much wealth as possible, money and women, etc. And the same pattern continues. The last group was about others, this group is again about satisfying yourself, improving yourself and becoming successful, or creating a comfortable life for yourself. And this is the main stage that society today is being run by, especially in the West. Previously it used to be stage blue, but over the recent years it's moved on to stage orange. So stage orange pursues truth in more pragmatic and practical ways, such as science. The idea that truth is found in scientific proof, which leads to more atheism, which is precisely what we see in today's culture. So other examples of stage orange include science, data analysis and quantification, self-help and self-improvement, fashion, capitalism, the idea of hard work and entrepreneurship, advertising and branding, pop culture, social media, technology and the western culture as a whole. When you realize that materialistic wealth doesn't lead to happiness, you want to reconnect with community and spirituality. And that's what leads to stage three. You also realize that not everything can be solved and understood with reason. And that fast-paced materialism isn't environmentally sustainable. 
So stage green is focused on community, equal rights and spirituality. There's a focus on emotions rather than rationality, like at stage orange. The point of life is to find meaning and to live in harmony with others and the earth. For stage green, truth is found in emotions. Now examples of stage green include new age people, hippies, vegans, yoga, meditation and tantra. A person would be someone like Bernie Sanders or Pope Francis, Steve Irwin or Bob Ross. Then we have welfare and socialism, recycling and sustainability, equality, love, empathy and compassion, human rights or equal rights and inclusiveness. Those are all examples of stage green. And now after stage green, we reach so-called tier two stages. Up to this point, the stages have clashed with each other. They don't understand each other. For example, orange can think of green as too sensitive and woo woo, whereas green can think of orange as too pragmatic and materialistic. And blue demonizes everyone for not following their rules and customs, their morality, and so forth. But at tier two, one recognizes the different stages. One understands them and doesn't fight them. So the first stage on tier two is stage yellow. You start becoming stage yellow when you realize that stage green lacks the capacity to change the world and solve its complex issues. You realize that the world is complex and works through systems, which is what characterizes stage yellow, systems thinking. Instead of thinking of things linearly, such as in tier one stages, that we have a problem and we need a solution for it. For example, we have global warming, so we need to cut all non-renewables. Stage yellow recognizes that there's a complex system at play and it's not always that easy. And there's not always a clear solution. And now for stage yellow, the point of life is to live fully and responsibly. Stage yellow values learning and knowledge. And instead of searching for truth, to recognize that truth is relative. Now examples of stage yellow would be the study of chaos theory, quantum mechanics, open-mindedness and understanding, going meta and big picture. The concept of spiral dynamics itself is stage yellow. Paradox, examples of people could be Abraham Maslow, Einstein, Schrodinger, Richard Feynman and Barack Obama. Then we also have Wikipedia, the idea of philosophy as a whole and relativity. But one of the issues that people in stage yellow often have is that they often have a lone wolf mentality. When you realize that you can't solve complex world issues on your own, that it requires collective coordination you start moving to become stage turquoise. And stage turquoise is global and holistic in nature, even more inclusive than stage green, meaning the whole world is seen as one complex living organism. And then the point of life to stage turquoise is to experience the wholeness of existence through mind and spirit. To embody and simply be is how stage turquoise searches for truth. Other examples of stage turquoise would be holism and integration, consciousness and enlightenment, authenticity, yogis, non-duality or authentic spirituality. Examples of people in stage turquoise could be someone like Sadhguru, Muji, Eckhart Tolle or the Dalai Lama or Uguay from Kung Fu Panda. And again with Star Wars, a character would be someone like Master Yoda. They would be considered a stage turquoise. So there were the stages. There is still stage coral, which people like Jesus or the Buddha could have been, but little is known about it. And now it's time for some important disclaimers. First off, it's not always black and white. While most people tend to have a dominating stage, you can be at different stages at the same time. At different levels, for example, in different fields of your life. In sports, you can be stage red. When it comes to your finances, stage orange. And when it comes to your ethics, either stage blue or stage green, for example. And you can either be a healthy or an unhealthy version of each level. For example, a healthy red would be one that makes decisions easily and is a strong leader. But an unhealthy red would be, for example, a dictator that takes advantage of its people or something like that. And another important disclaimer. There's a tendency to want to rate yourself higher on the spiral than you actually are. Stage red will think it's orange, orange will think it's yellow, and green will think it's turquoise. In general, you rate yourself two steps higher than you actually are. And remember that the levels are not quote unquote better than each other. Orange is not better than red. They're simply fit for different environments. Red excels at hostile environments, such as a war-torn country or a very bad neighborhood. And now if you've seen my previous video, where I'll talk about the levels of identification, watch that right here, you might see a tangent with spiral dynamics. The correlation with spiral dynamics and identifications are that the more your us encompasses, the higher you are on the spiral. Stage beige only thinks about the survival of yourself. And stage turquoise is completely global. And also, you can't skip any stages. You have to integrate them before you can move on. Knowing intellectually the issues of the levels will not make you move to the higher levels. Just because you've watched this video, 
does not mean you're gonna be stage turquoise. You have to really experience the issues and you have to integrate the levels through experience. You have to embody the value. If you're at stage orange, you have to embody the values of stage orange. Pursue success and materialism. And only that way can you ascend the levels. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments below. Like the video if you got something out of it. And subscribe if you want more. And stay tuned for next week's episode, where I go more in depth on the first stage of Spiral Dynamics. Spiral Dynamics Stage Beige. If you're watching this in the future, you can see that video right here. Out.